have time exactly to do an intro much right now, but I'm going to start off this and I'm going to show you me taking off to the UK, out to the airport, and not too many issues in general, a few rude people, but uh, it's going to be different culture, so hope we don't get sick either. I'm going to show you the trip and I'll uh, catch up with you back in the UK. I knew that he was going down too fast. This is a horrible airline. I could probably fly better than that. I'd be not a flight. Like if you taught me the basic controls. Look, this doesn't record that because the windows aren't clean either. I'm done with it. Okay, so um, there's a lot to talk about what just happened, including how bad the plane landed and almost not getting in and uh, all kinds of different things. I need to get a hotel booked so, uh, still. It's after 9 p.m. The sun's still up a good amount. It's crazy. Uh, we have no internet. I have to find like, internet, get SIM card, get car, and yeah, we're in the UK. Welcome to Liverpool. Uh, it's quite quite cool here. So uh, I'm gonna find all the good and bad things about this. It's uh, nice having English finally to go speak. So I'll give you an update in a bit. I'm just crazy. I got in. We got it here. Things going great. Okay, so we made it here in time. And. Uh, I don't know why I said in time. Um, okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. I forgot I needed the card here. So, the door takes me shut. Interesting. Okay, we got this here. Um, I'm just gonna show the bathroom right off this time. Yeah, I got some tissues there. Uh, I got me there. I got the mat. It's a bathtub. That's quite nice, isn't it? So you can close this right here. There's no problem. The water leaking out pulling. Cheaper with the curtain, not ideal in a lot of ways, but hey, it works better than Poland. Uh, there's me again. The TV could be bigger, the room could be bigger, the bed and the floor is probably not super clean, but this room is rated 4.1 stars, it is really right by the hotel. We literally walked, or sorry, the airport. We literally walked outside of the airport and just came here. It's like, oh, it's easy for a day. So this phone's horrible. It doesn't show things at all properly. Um, I noticed, and it's unfortunate because I was trying to record from the airplane. Ah, it just didn't work, unfortunately, but I'll get more footage in the future when I'm flying, so. Um, yeah, I got like a chair leaning back here. You know, it, it works for a day or two. It was, um, roughly $100, give or take, so. Probably a little over $100. Uh, it works, you know, it, it works. It's, uh, definitely manageable and doable, so. What the hell was that? I have no idea. What's this one? Oh, there's those lights. So I got that. Ah, oh, there's these lights. Cool. So I got food and drink menu there, all kinds of things. Okay. And their uh, continental breakfast, they were saying, is like from 4 to 6 a.m. and 6 to 10 a.m. for a hot breakfast. So that's cool. Six hours of breakfast. Really calm people more, chill it out. And way easier for me to do things way better than Poland already. Damn, I cannot even tell you. It's like the opposite of Poland. If you hate Poland, just come here instead. And we, uh, like, I, I can't tell you. I, I saw a British person in Poland one day. We were trying to get pictures for her for a, uh, a visa interview. 
because they informed us very few hours, like the night before, and he did that, like trying to, trying to freak us or something. And there was a guy who walked in there, and he was, uh, he just pissed off immediately. He just, I was like, yeah, I feel like the UK is different. First time in the first world country together, so oh, it's way better, way better. Um, I'm so happy things went through. Uh, we need to get some stuff done. I'm gonna make a proper vlog about this after, and talk about things more. But uh, I'm just in shock that things went the way it did. Um, yeah, it works for another room, works at uh, home with Nicholas M card and such, but ah, oh, we're in the first world country in the UK. Look at that, it works. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm happy to go try to do something. You talk about if we want anything like frick dude. So easy to go do something. Uber Eats or whatever. Prices are I think cheaper here, surprisingly for things, so ah, it's gonna be better. Six months can actually stay here and uh, go do stuff like even like pet sitting and help help people and get places to stay for cheaper long term and it's all kinds of things so that's cool Alright back, it's been a couple of days, uh, I've spent two days in a hotel here I still have not had time to go say anything or collect my thoughts because we've not been feeling good still more of an infection so I've been having a really hard time breathing here, I don't know why but uh, we're supposed to check out at 11, it's about 11.30 and uh, they'll charge us like a I think 25 pound fee for uh, here after 12 so we're trying to get down, just a quick update everything packed i still have no idea where we're gonna go i need to explain everything that happened with the airplane coming here still she has been really busy and hard time to record and such not feeling the best i explain all the thoughts so i guess for now we're heading down and uh nothing's booked we don't know exactly where to go holidays coming up and things are really expensive been spending a hundred dollars a day each day for two days here so that's two hundred dollars and Ah, it's so expensive. Need to find a place cheaper. Like, there are cheaper places here. We just need to find them properly. But yeah, that's probably about it for all. I need to go get some water. Hopefully, like, uh, I spent three pounds per, like, uh, 750 milliliter bottle. So 10 pounds, over 10 pounds on some water down at the station there. Just because it's in the airport. This hotel's still in the airport, so no one even delivers here, by the way. And, uh, you have to go a couple streets out because apparently they have to live inside the airport, so... We're learning more and more things about the people here. I'm going to explain more about that later, though. And uh, tell you the good and bad parts of the country. And uh, that's probably it for now. I wish me luck on going out. This has been <laughs> really stressful on top of, like, the way my family has been acting and stuff. So uh, it's been a crazy time. So uh, just trying to keep my composure and manage still. I got six hours of sleep. Uh, five and a half, six hours of sleep, something like that again. So I'm still not getting sleep for almost a week now properly. But and there's nothing you can do. Just got to and get out and try to keep going but you need to get proper sleep coming up hopefully sometime constantly otherwise you're gonna get aging and horrible things happening all the time and mental issues as well so i'll uh, see you in a bit just want to point this out from before this is how it should be not like pulling up body wash conditioner shampoo and you got your hand soap and body lotion so that's how it should be <laughs> not like the last place all right so we're out of the hotel uh just uh trying to find some place uh I said, may go back inside the airport, I don't know. She's right back over there. It's got my croissants here, basically. Uh, uh, frick, be really sick as well, be careful. So I'm gonna just get those eaten up and gone. I'm a little bit of water, it's gonna spoil pretty soon as well. So, we've been refunded from the gym area and their water, big, like, five gallon water thing or whatever, so. Uh, I wish me luck, this is gonna be great. I'll find a place to stay. <laughs> Okay, so I got here now, and I'm gonna show you the room. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, put this on. See how things are. First time I'm actually out in the center. Um, a little pool. Let's see what we got for this thing. is 70 something dollars per day, so. Ah, uh, this is crazy. Yeah, it's not the biggest at all, but hey, it works for what it is, I guess. Uh, it's a bed and stuff, so. Got a bathroom in here, two beds. I really need that. Can I open the windows at all? Bigger TV as well. I think. No, I can't open the windows, unfortunately. Oh, that's always a bummer, isn't it? I don't know if you can do that anywhere in the UK, honestly. Oh, I know so far here in Liverpool, you cannot. Anyways, here's my view outside. Um, it's pretty interesting, pretty cool. Huh? There's a guy walking down there. 
There's like things on the window right here. I don't know what that is. Some type of like crap on it. Yeah. As I like, thought for not the best area, but it's a place to stay for now until I can go get something else done properly. So let's go see what we got over here. I never gave you a refrigerator for some reason. Uh, like unless you have like a medical condition and then give you one where I store your food down there. The guy sent a bigger refrigerator for cooking, so uh, it's unfortunate. Six days here, so nothing I can do. It's really expensive here. I'm just trying to do this till I get pet sitting or something to ease the price, so. Okay, what's a uh, different thing? No oh, bathtub. I think the other place is definitely better, but the price is cheaper here, so. Yeah, if you think about the price difference, Save now two hundred dollars roughly doing this versus their place, so helps out a lot. Just hopefully this will be okay with my breathing and all that and such, so that's how it is, so I guess I'm gonna get talking about everything else here and uh first I'm gonna get some food, relax a little bit, please stay a little bit longer and think about what I'm doing. It's just uh, nice to have somewhere to go. Um very interesting taxi ride. I wish I could record more, I didn't record anything like driving by. Pretty interesting looking building buildings around here, but Got them, so it was pretty hard to understand. Uh, their accents are definitely strange a little bit here. It's crazy. Like I always like saw people complain about it, but I understand people and such. But now it's like I can understand people <laughs> sometimes. Like uh, just certain people. I don't know their accents. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get used to an accent like that. Let's see if I start picking things up more a little bit. If I have less issues, time goes by. So um, I uh, see you in a bit. Okay, update on what I said is actually I get an eighty pound five dollar fee as well for all the days, so so well over a hundred dollars saved here, and we can actually order food here and such. So um, a little bit worse in the other room, but uh, it's just temporary until we can find a better place. As long as I can breathe, okay. Uh, that's what matters. Just nice knowing that like there's stuff I can order here. Got this up here, which uh, I don't know if I can show. Yeah, you can see right there. Boof. Like the ventilation, someone climbed down. Oh, yeah, hashtag trauma. Anyone that watched mm. Horse Old Pink movies, action mm -hmm. movies, is it soft? Hashtag trauma. I think so. I think it's soft. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so just gonna get started in here, get a little bit of food, and I'll be right back. You gotta see what I just saw here. So I'm back actually from the market. Got a few things to eat here. Um, got some Rice Krispies treats and a few different things to eat. Just stuff that's not refrigerated because. They don't give a refrigerator again here, so we couldn't get anything cold, basically, except for one thing we consumed, and, uh, that's, that's not fun. Any hotel that's not going to give you, like, a basic small refrigerator, uh, third world, not cool. So, definitely lacking in that, uh, this place here, 100%, especially for the price. <laughs> it's absurd. You can't pack your own fridge with you. But anyways, I was just watching the TV, I was, uh, checking out the TV here, and I got, like, a Fast and Furious movie on here, looks like. And it's crazy because I'm seeing everywhere here, during the action scenes, it will just turn down the music of like he's driving, and it will literally just turn down all the volume, all the music, and a bridge will start speaking. Like what's going on? Like he drives through, he barely misses the ball, and the ball goes and swings and plows into the other vehicles pursuing him. And it goes back to the movie like louder again. I'm like, <laughs> he doesn't stop doing this. Like is this really in Britain? Like. To the UK like this, it ruins the movie so much. You're joking. Like anyone who disagrees with me has to be a Brit who grew up like, like around here because I'm sorry that is completely horrible and ruins the movie. Maybe it's for people who have issues uh, seeing, for example, and they're just hearing. Maybe blind people or more so. But it should be a function you can disable, maybe, because it's crazy. It's the same thing with uh, Brazil, how they use a uh, person like using their hands uh, for sign language and stuff. They do that here as well. As like, they don't allow you to disable these things and change and turn it on and off. Like, I think that'd be a really cool feature. I think that's possible to do. Bro, you're ruining the movie so much. Shut up. Like, come on. There should be a feature for this. Like, what the hell? Anyways, there was a group of guys also. Uh, so we're walking by outside the hall. Just like, he's making a joke, kind of saying, to us, oh, like, oh, COVID's over and such, and uh, just because we're wearing masks. I don't wear masks because of COVID, actually. I wasn't scared of COVID that much. I was scared of uh, the viruses almost killed me after that. The guy got in Sao Paulo in Rio. 
And uh, that's why I wear masks and also protect particles from going in my body all the time because I think I do have a compromised immune system. I get sicker than most people and uh, it's very dangerous for me. So I try to do that when going out, especially because people are coughing all the time. So I thought that was very rude and uh, uncalled for. Yeah, I'm making a joke about something like that, so you have no idea if someone's having issues or not with their health and such. Yeah, it's, it's not been ideal at all. I noticed something about people in the UK. Whiter people are more likely to be like calm in some way. Not calm, like, it's weird, right? Whiter people, like, there's maybe two types of people here I just see, like, black people and white people. And so white people are more likely to be, like, silent, just like, like looking around. And more manipulative, probably and more closed, depending. Like, it really depends, it really depends, but if there will be people like that, it's maybe more likely to be white people, I think. I saw black people here were more likely to be kind of like those guys were, not not like them, but like more like, just like open and outgoing, more extroverted uh, in general most of the time. Like a guy I talked down here, the staff, he was darker as well, and he was very much like that. I saw YouTubers from the UK who are black are also more like that, and white people are more, uh, introverted maybe, depending, uh, not all of them, just like if there are some people it's more likely to be white, maybe it's still not so so many white people like that, but I just saw uh, the difference between them like that, it's crazy to think that your race does affect you, like it's, it's weird, right? is it a mental thing, or is it like how they grow up, because it's bizarre, it's really bizarre, because I'm noticing a difference between the, the two, and uh, I honestly quite, quite like the way uh, black people act here, and and uh, the way they were on YouTube as well. I think it was really interesting. And I just didn't like the way the group of people uh, walked by, spoke to me like that, unfortunately. But other than that, I, I normally like the way black people act. And uh, their their conduct, demeanor here, like on YouTube as well, I think it's very cool. Uh, definitely very, very different. And uh, great entertainment and such. I think white people are not so funny here. <laughs> Probably. Like, not from, from what I saw in my experience. And, uh, I don't know if I ever saw Asians here, barely, except for, like, just, uh, one person. We were going in, right? We just, uh, yeah, saw... I found a lot of Asians in Airport Yeah, I didn't see anyone around here, more than, like, in Liverpool, throughout this area, so... It's, like, uh, black and white people more, so... Not, not too many Asians here, I don't know why. Anyways, though, um... That's ah, bizarre. I never saw black people act like this, and it's like pretty funny, <laughs> honestly. Like pretty interesting the way they are. Yeah, it's like it's nice. It's nice to have a difference. Just uh, as long as people don't don't get too carried away and start being an uh, asshole and be rude and such. So you know why people are more close and introverted when they're yeah, white? It is true. Like yeah, is it right? Yeah. It really feels like that. Not yeah. all of them, but like more. And I think because of that, they can be more dangerous and yeah. more smart. Smarter. Yes. I feel like white people here are probably more dangerous than black people in some way. I don't know. I don't have the statistics to say that for sure, but it feels like maybe based on my experience so far, I'm not for sure. Um, I really have not been here a lot, a long time, but maybe they could be. I don't know. Something to keep watching out for and, and uh, just see how people are psychologically, because uh, it really matters. It's important. So to know so i guess that's about it for now i hope people don't like try to just like kill me for speaking things like this because like oh you're being racist how am i being racist i'm literally just talking about things as like a non-racist way where like uh like be the problem is people have issues understanding what racism is not saying oh people are different based on their race the way they act but like oh you're stupid you're horrible because you're so that's racism again people need to understand the difference that is racism, being bad to people just for the race, but not saying, oh, they act differently in some ways, because like that's just how it is, and that can be because of culture, and race, uh, genetics, like intelligence, and, and uh, development, all that as well, so it's very important to understand this stuff. Well, yeah, I still need to talk about everything with the plane, and I will get to that here in a little bit, I think, so it's applying for my applications, so we have places to stay here, and uh, I think when I'm ready, I'll come back and uh, inform you with that, so. Alright, I'm back, and I need to actually go ahead and start saying everything that happened before I forget more. It's pretty late here, it's going to be about midnight soon. I forgot the SIM card for the second time again at the market, so uh, I'm going to have to wait on that. I don't know what's going on with us with that, but we keep forgetting. I want to start quickly by going back to the airplane 
we took Wiz Airlines, and Wiz means piss, essentially, like you're taking a piss. So, uh, that airline name is already saying a lot. Uh, we got into the airplane to start with, and the flight attendant, she was already quite rude with us, and uh, being an asshole, essentially. So, we ended up walking past her, because she told us to wait, and then next thing you know, like, oh, a couple of seconds later, we didn't need to wait, so we um, ended up going to our seats, and uh, she's just being weird in general. The trip cost $500 for two people, uh, flying for a little over two hours, going to the UK from Poland, Warsaw. And we are currently now in Liverpool, if you're wondering uh, where it took us to. And, well, everything was paid for on the airplane. You had to uh, pull out your credit card to get a bottle of water or any type of snack. The first time I ever had that happen, considering how much we paid for this. And we What's were complaining... the best seats, even? The seats as well were extremely horrible, didn't recline or go back at all. The floor was extremely, uh, I say, out of date. Everything was quite uh, dirty and just not ideal. Uh, considering, like, the seat was uncomfortable on top of it, like, not even able to go back 10 degrees or recline at all. That's quite strange, don't you think? Anyways, um, beyond that, once uh, some time had passed, they... Um, end up going and bringing out some extra stuff which appeared to be perfume as well wanting to try to sell that and the entire time they had, they just had this woman holding a credit card machine with gloves just be like and I'm just like what? you guys are the biggest cocksuckers I ever saw in my life and just pieces of trash in general we're complaining the whole ride there essentially the whole flight so it's about time for us to land and Next thing I know, the airplane is literally going like on its side and on its side again, and and we're freaking out like, what's wrong with this pilot? Is he freaking drunk? Like, dude, how much piss did he drink? So we are getting to the runway more so, and I'm like, we're still pretty high up. Next thing I know, I constantly he's going and dropping and dropping. Like, I never had this happen before in my life, never. And we were coming up to the runway. And I thought in my head while I was recording, this isn't right. This is too far away. This is not accurate. And he's coming in too too hot. And he's going to go and hit the ground too hard. And I was like, what is he doing? And then he's going, boom, hits the ground so hard with the whole plane. Everyone freaks out for a second. And my entire spine, like I was sitting in my chair properly. And my spine was hurting for 30 minutes to an hour or more after that. It was such a hard on the ground with the plane. I never had this happen. Any other flight I took from uh, that time I had taken, which was fine. Spirit in the U.S., uh, Azul, and even Air France was definitely better than this. And I had my own issues with Air France. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. It's the worst airline I've ever taken. I would say absolutely. I read that I saw it one out of ten. Never take that <laughs> for the price. It's not worth it. It's absurd. They also lied to us and took away our 32-kilogram uh, check baggage we were supposed to get for the package we had just because we had moved our flight to a different day. So pieces of trash with that as well. Not cool airline in the slightest. Air Portugal and Wizz Air are both pieces of trash. And don't let you take crap on board barely. Uh, Air Portugal doesn't let you take anything sharp. And Wizz Air literally was saying about all batteries and everything. And, I talked to the guards there at the front, uh, or the people for um, booking or whatever, I, I, taking care of all your your uh, flight situation stuff, uh, whatever you call them, uh, attendance people. And uh, it's just, just like a normal battery, whatever, even though this sign was saying, like, yeah, be careful if you have that. So I don't know what's going on with that. It was really disorganized and it uh, really helped much. Uh, eh, it, it's a horrible airline. Don't take it. <laughs> it is so inferior. It is uh, absurd. And these airlines that try to charge you less money appears less money, right? It's uh, actually going to cause you a lot of issues and you can only take specific things with you on the plane. And the, with how hard that landed, that is horrible. That's so unsafe. That's the most unsafe airplane I've ever taken. I would never, ever encourage someone to want to take that. Anyways, we got through, went to, over to security, and there was uh, this list of countries and such, and um, the United States was on it, of course, was one, and uh, I was going to my queue, and there was a big line of people. You ended up going in your own queue as well, and it was just a few people going their way, so we had to say, we're like, time by and split ways. I'm going back through the queue, 
and meeting up with her again. Uh, she was going right over here, this way. And uh, I was already about to finish with mine. She's still waiting, even though there's only a few people that were really not, not being cool with the people. I got through, I got both of my baggages checked, like pulled out and everything after I got through. And uh, I went over to the baggage area because there was a sign telling me I can't stand anywhere near that area, so, as usual. So I went and I got the baggage, I was waiting there, and I finally saw her talking to them. They're like berating her with all kinds of questions just because her passport's not the right type. Uh, of course, that's how it works, right? And ended up having to call me over there and just asking, oh, what do I do for her work with this uh, and everything? And uh, just because of me, I think she was allowed to get in. And uh, that's absurd. Like, <laughs> Um, it's, it's because it's far better than the United States border people, by far. I, if I had more power as a U.S. citizen with my U.S. passport in the U.K. than I ever did in the U.S. There's something wrong with that. Um, anyways, uh, ended up not being a problem too much, looks like, and we got in. Went over to the hotel, uh, Hampton by Hilton, I think. And uh, it was over $100 a day for two days we did that. It was still inside the airport, so we can order anything, as usual. And uh, I had to go a couple streets away to do anything. We finally got out, uh, took a taxi ride. The prices looks like they were lying and uh, said that they're basically higher than they're supposed to be. And I'm getting charged an extra four or so pounds than I was supposed to be, because I guess the prices are not updated, because I'd asked a, ca a taxi driver uh, about the prices, and they had said, uh, I go look on the sun. Like they're always like the rudest people I've already met so far in this country, uh, would have been the taxi people by far. So those uh, people didn't help me much at all. Just told me to check a sign on the airport. I'm like, okay, I guess they're all like working for the same company, like a monopoly going on. Horrible how airports are like that. Uber doesn't help anymore either because Uber is more expensive. It looks like than the taxis. 35 pounds easily trying to take something for our baggage and the uh, taxi had a bunch of space way more than uber ever would looks like so they yeah, i just taking that and the biggest taxi i think i've been in so far so I, that was interesting it ended up costing me 27 pounds they gave me uh three pounds back i paid before i started the trip just in case my credit card would freak out big issues calling to get my credit card fixed um unblocked i had to literally have one of my family members help me and call them through like app like discord and then they would take and uh then do something with their f uh speaker or something calling on his own phone to to my bank and do it that way because i was trying to call they wouldn't answer and it's cost me two dollars eighty cents a minute or more i ended up wasting 25 dollars for like uh eight to ten minutes of phone calls three different numbers and uh it's because even more expensive on a polish number after being out like this stuff should be illegal you shouldn't be getting charged like this considering if there's applications like skype and discord that are free to call internationally i i, I don't understand why things are so expensive i feel like things are just being allowed to be having money being made for no reason here like phone calls should essentially be free with the kind of advanced technology we have today Anyways, I tried recording with my iPhone, obviously just a piece of trash and not good at all on the airplane, and that didn't go well, it could not focus at all as a piece of trash, because it's like the iPhone 7, I believe, and yeah, fair enough, it's an outdated phone. So all I got right now to record, I'm gonna try to maybe do something with uh, the videos I have of that. Um, not much else I can do. I tried recording everything with my iPhone in the airplane, out the window, and it wouldn't focus, it's a pretty horrible piece of trash as usual, it's iPhone 7 to expect that and uh, like right now I wouldn't be focusing either at all I just had to try to close up and get to focus again this phone's very uh, difficult to work with I think I guess what's going on in the airplane as well unfortunately I had to maybe restart the video after enough time it just doesn't want to focus so we found out some different things about people here and uh, there's some photos I'm gonna put now Based on that, uh, there's a lot of issues here. I saw also the, there was uh, molding fruit in the market here uh, that I was able to uh, document because I didn't have the phone. I mean, I'll take it out. It's late, almost 11 p.m. walking out, get some water. And uh, it's dangerous. In such dangerous situations like that, I don't want to do anything but, like take out phones as much as possible. And uh, the ceiling and stuff, uh, in general, like, there's a lot of issues here. Uh, they don't let people come up to deliver to your door as well. Uh, apparently because it's too dangerous, you need a key card to even open the elevator. I never saw any of this before. And uh, last night there was this 
a black guy who came in through the halls with two girls. I think they're white girls, right? Two white girls. Yes, yes. And he, I think he was slapping their ass. At least one of them. I don't know if it was two. We were hearing a bunch of noise. They were being so loud. And maybe someone came up to talk to them, saying room service. And they were trying to party, drink, punch alcohol. And this morning we heard um, like a bunch of glass bottles and stuff after being cleaned up. So um, he was getting pissed off by having a deposit or something taken because he was smoking. That's why they have deposits for everything here. People are really acting stupid everywhere, partying, like how constantly. I never saw this. So this is a big issue with the UK so far. And I have to be careful more because I'm speaking English and now the people are going to understand. I would speak things in Portuguese, but then you people are not going to understand. So I'm going to speak in English for the sake of that, obviously. Okay, so I had to actually cut that again because the phone looks like it maybe is overheating some. And I'm going to be able to record vlogs soon if I'm not careful. I have to try to maybe default to my Samsung. Yeah, it's a rough right now. Anyways, people are really partying here all the time. And like you said, people are always like... Uh, these types of people that are just partying all the time and uh yeah especially like, hey, everyone's like weird here like pe people are not even friendly as much now after i saw them for a bit it's really like brazilians again like this country i'm calling like uh, english brazil <laughs> this is like how it is actually uh i feel like it's so weird not as friendly after they see you the first time and i was watching on tiktok as well as on instagram i think tiktok of the two guys fighting with a knife here, mm, one guy Instagram. defending himself, Instagram, and blood all over him, and just going and having a little knife fight, and uh, protecting himself, looks like, from another person. He grabbed a knife from someone else, and it's having a knife fight, and ended up dropping it. He got chased by the other guy, and had to go and uh, find, got the knife out of his hand, got him down the ground. And this was in UK, where you get put in prison for a bunch of time, probably for taking a little knife I had to bury. This country is maybe more dangerous than the U.S. in a lot of ways. From what I'm seeing, you have to, if uh, we look outside our window, we're like it really feels like São Paulo back when we were there. Mm -hmm. It was really dangerous and doesn't feel like a first world country in that. Uh, for the food and stuff, it's definitely a first world country. And my numbness, I felt all over my body is starting to go away now. And I'm finally starting to recover and feel better. I can actually start feeling things again. And it's great for the food at least. And uh, when I was eating the this half a uh, it's like roll like this um like a baguette cut in half with big pizza toppings on top in uh poland i was numb all over my mouth after eating that and just constant i think aflatoxicosis setting in from all the horrible grains and stuff that crap it's numb again right okay i'm gonna try to do it this way it won't be 60 fps but things there's no choice i'm gonna use the front camera it's been hell here in different ways definitely and Airbnb offers nothing but just like single rooms and you pay 30, 40 pounds a day for that, which is 40, 50 dollars almost probably. And uh, it'd be hell with the way people are. I'm glad we avoided that. Uh, I've been spending almost 100 dollars a day again and stuff for this hotel though. It's got huge issues you saw. And this is just a bad situation. We're gonna try to buy a car because Uber's so expensive here and uh, we give us freedom to go even like live in the car if we need to for a bit. We'll work on the business and doing things so. Uh, that's crazy if I am like really successful in the near future, which I think I will be looking back on this and having posted this to YouTube. I think people as well look at this like, wow, that's uh, damn crazy. Yeah, it is. I'm sacrificing everything to basically have what I'm trying to get in the future here. So, um, people are definitely problematic with uh, dressing horribly, slutty all over, like showing their tits everywhere, showing, I think, their ass a lot constantly here. I was watching a show where they have a guy uh, or a girl look at five naked, six naked people, showing the bottom half, then up their tits, and then their face, the shoes, and the other person looking and deciding at the end gets naked as well, third person, so. Um, very, very immoral here in this country. I think it's the most democratic country, uh, probably, like, I've seen. I think it's more democratic, definitely, than the U.S., and, uh, liberal, I guess, in general. So, yeah, it's, uh, interesting, I guess. I'm just thankful I have some food to eat that's not poisoning me, and water I'm able to drink that I'm okay with, so, uh, for now, like, whatever, the country is gonna work for me, so, like, no matter what, I'm I'm just happy to be able to have something. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to mention? I think that's roughly it, right? Um, I think so. I just like shock with the way how people are 
Yeah. Um, we go out in the streets and uh, we barely even go out of our apartment. And I feel like uh, I don't want to be disrespectful with people, but I travel a lot of countries with Justin too. And I see based on the way people um, act. And I definitely hear people, even guys, not just girls, but people just, I think, especially the younger people, I would say younger, I think um, under 30 to 40, something like that. And that they feel like I've been acting more slutty, especially when they're in group, even more mm. than one person. Like. That seems about right. Groups of people are really dangerous here. Like you told me you were walking with me and you said a black guy was uh, walking with his friends and like acting really superior and acting like, oh, we're powerful and uh, trying to go up and touch you almost. I saw yeah. the time we, we came here, an older guy was trying to do that in Poland already coming to this country. Yeah. And uh, yeah, major issue with people trying to touch women and such. I, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised how immoral the country is here. So that's roughly it for now i'm just trying to not be homeless people are really not cool as well with like application we're submitting to go like do some stuff and uh like pet sitting and stuff like having a place to stay more so um people are really rude completely turning us down all the time and not helping at all like been through a lot of hell with this so far so uh, that's fun that's how expensive rent is here it's absurd to do anything and uh we need to get things going fast and we're fricked up. Like, we only have a few thousand dollars left to spend and we're spending like two or three thousand a month here on rent alone, essentially. Yeah, that's uh, not going good. Um, that's that's probably about it for now. I need to end this vlog because it's going to be huge, really long. And uh, I start up another one maybe if I do something with getting a car. I really hope I can. It'd be really helpful. So thank you all so much for watching and if you have any uh, type of question you want to ask or anything, I'm getting more and more experience every day with traveling and I'm saying oh, people are in each country I'm going to, it can help a lot. Uh, I can try to answer as, as many comments as I can but um, never, never like spending my whole day because there's always a lot to do with things and such so uh, just let me know and uh, I'll try my best to reply. and. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. And I can't wait to see the fire and how my videos are going to bring with people just like freaking out and such. So until the next video, I uh, appreciate it very much watching till the end. And who knows the next country we're going to visit. This is going to be one hell of a journey. Maybe it'll end with me being homeless or maybe it'll end with me being a millionaire. Let's go ahead and see. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.